beauty is only skin deep, especially if it's just cosmetic. And David, in fact, you were just commenting to me during the break that there is an interesting link, maybe an unexpected link, between cosmetic and the big picture. <laughs> That's right, because cosmos is uh, Greek for order, and uh, the world, the cosmos, is seen as this uh, arranged entity, just as cosmetics are, are about arranging your uh, features. So there's a strong link between the two words. That's fascinating, because we tend to think of cosmetic as being very superficial, but in fact... The big picture is very closely linked. <laughs> That's right. Nice connection. Let's have a look at our scores before we move on. And Bryden's on 27. Jeremy is on 44. We are in our quarterfinal and we're heading for the final games of it tonight. Those final letters, Jeremy, from you, please. Sure. And a consonant to begin. Thank you. G. And a vowel. A. And a consonant. S. And a vowel. E. And a consonant. R. And our vowel. O. And a consonant. S. And a vowel. I. And then a consonant to finish. And lastly, N. 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Those letters, Jeremy? I have a seven. And Bryden? Seven as well. Yours first, please? Searing. And yours, Jeremy? Soaring. Searing and soaring. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> Very uh, two close. good sevens. Two good sevens. I actually gave an accidental clue to both players uh, talking about the cosmos being an arranged whole because uh, there is a, a full Monty here, Richard. A full Monty. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Well found. What? What was it? Well, another word for a range is to organise, and there's organisers here. Well, we love a full Monty any time, but of course, especially in a quarterfinal. Well found, David. But well done, Jeremy and Bryden, seven each. Let's juggle these numbers now for the last time tonight, and uh, Bryden, what would you like? Uh, I think I'll go too large and four small this time. Thanks, Thanks Bryden. Too large and four small. And the final set of numbers for tonight, four... Nine, five, eight, and the two large numbers, 25 and 50. The target number is 659. Thank you, Lily. Can we get there? like the last numbers combo, Bryden? Uh, 658. 658, just one off. Good work, Jeremy? 663. 663, a little bit further away. Bad luck. So, uh, Bryden, what did you do? Uh, I went 9 plus 4 is 13. 9 plus 4 is 13. And 13 times 50 is Ta 650. Times 50 is 650. And add the 8. Um, and add the 8 is 658. So, very nicely done. Only one away. How did you go with this one, Lily? Did you get there? Uh, I think Bryden was on the right path. Uh, the trick was to preserve the nine, uh, make a 13 and preserve the nine to add the nine on at the end. Um, and eight plus five is 13. So 13 by 50, as Bryden said, is 650. And then you've got that nine freed up to make 659. Very nice calculation. Good work, Lily. But uh, Bryden did well and an additional seven points. So Bryden now on 41, Jeremy 10 points ahead, 51. So with 10 points between them, that now means that with the conundrum coming up next and 10 points at stake, if Bryden wins the conundrum, the scores will be equal. And that would lead us to a tiebreaker conundrum. So this is a very exciting moment. Let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now.
Hopefully no bids from the buzzers. So let's have a look at tonight's conundrum solution. It is circulate. So that means after the final round, our winner tonight on 51 points is Jeremy. But Brayden, you took us right to the edge there. It, uh, it could have been so tight, but well played throughout. Enjoy your time in uh, South Africa. I will. Thank you very much. And all the very best. Thanks for being part of the quarterfinal. Thanks, Richard. And Jeremy, well, you scored spectacularly well once again. You broke through that half-century barrier, so you'll be through to the semis. Great. Well, David, a very purposeful and well-focused quarterfinal. Not much meandering going on there. <laughs> Not a degree of meandering. In fact, all this week, Richard, all players have got their eyes on the prize. Absolutely, and we'll keep moving towards it. See you tomorrow night, David. See you. And did you have a, a favourite maths moment tonight, Lily? Well, I really enjoyed that second solution Jeremy gave in the, the second numbers game. That was a bit of a beauty. It was, and I'm sure we'll see some more of those over the nights to come. See you tomorrow night, Lily. And that brings our quarterfinals to a close. But don't worry, there is plenty more action to come as our winners from the past four nights meet again in our semi-finals before Friday night's grand final gives us our Series 3 champion of champions. Until we see you tomorrow at 6, good night. Mastermind, the iconic quiz show, is calling for contenders. Are you ready to put your general knowledge to the ultimate test? Apply now.